Hi everyone, welcome to the Legally Yours Marketplace. I'm so incredibly excited today because I'm sitting down with the absolutely brilliant Robert Cunho from Future You Coaching. And in this video, we're going to get to know Robert a little bit better and um, find out about what Robert actually does. So thank you for joining me, Robert. Oh, thank you. It's, it's great to be here. Thank you very much. Love it. So let's get into it. Talk me a little bit about your background and that will lead us into what you're actually doing with Future You. Sure. So, so I started my career as a humble criminologist. Um, <laughs> is there's there not a thing as a humble criminologist? <laughs> yeah, the, that is. It's, it's a title that I still attach to, actually, surprisingly. For all the things I've done, I still hold dear my criminology studies. So, um, so there you go. So when I, when I started my career, I got the opportunity to do some lecturing at university. Um, so for a period of time, I um, was a lecturer in criminology, justice, youth work, and community work. And I was a, a lecturer, teacher, tutor um, for about 10 years. Okay. And then I got, I got bitten by the, by the ambition bug, as most of us do. Indeed. And I left teaching to climb the management ladder at, at, at higher education. So I worked at three um, universities in Melbourne. Um, and, and I had a great time. I, I generally loved what I, what I do. But at the end of 2013, um, I got to the point where I, I just knew I hated what I was doing. It wasn't me. And I, I, I'd grown out of it. And in hindsight, I probably should never have gotten into that role. But um, I did. Um, but what I did, like most people, was I tried to fake it for another year. Just see if I would grow out of it. If it's just a phase. Yes. The reality was... I, and I knew deep down I was in the wrong spot. I needed to move. I, this part of my career was done with and I couldn't see myself doing it for the rest of my life. Yes. So 2014, I decided I, I didn't get over it. I couldn't fake it. So I stepped out. I stepped yeah. out of my 22-year wow. higher education career uh, with absolutely no safety net. I, I did not know what I wanted to do but I knew what I did not want to do and that was it. And it wasn't the people, it was nothing, it was me. It was just this, I, I'd gone and I'd done enough and yes. I was over it, to, yep. for, to be blunt. Um, so, you know, it was a tough call and one of the toughest parts of that call was, um, was um, I, I attached a lot of meaning to what I did and who I was and I had these grand titles and, and you know, I was climbing the ladder and my mum, she would tell people, my son's a director at university and it, there was a lot of attachment to this title. Um, and so for me, the toughest part was letting that go. That's what took me a year. It took me a year to come to terms with, I'm going to step out and, and just be nothing and not know what I want to do. Um, but in the end, I, I did it at, by, yeah. by fluke. Um, but it was the best thing I did because at the time, you know, there was pressure on my relationship. There was, I, I wasn't present. I, I wasn't, I was, I was sort of in another place, but it wasn't like a working place. It was sort of like the doldrums, the doldrums, the, yes. the blues, you know? Um, so anyway, so I quit that and yes. took time to reflect what I wanted to do. And in that time, what I realized was my, the, my greatest joy, my greatest happiness and my greatest skill for one to the better description. Yes. was um, when I was teaching, when I was lecturing and tutoring. Yeah. And I know, I knew all the time, but it really became clear when I took a few months just to reflect on what's next, that I'm a teacher at heart. I'm yeah. a guide. Uh, I like to share knowledge and I like to have an impact where I'm able to share my experiences to help people grow. Um, and when I learned that, um, and when I learned that my last role was in the end, it was probably I was in the wrong role. It wasn't for me. So it wasn't anything I did. It was just, we just it, I just didn't suit the role. Yes. Um, and I, I, I got to the point when I realised I didn't suit that role and there was nothing wrong with me yes. um, and that what I actually was and what gave me the greatest joy was some sort of role that involved teaching, guiding and helping. I and um, that, that. Yeah. That, that was the moment. Yep. That was it, when it, Future it's... Year Coaching was born. It's really beautiful because I like that piece when you talked about sort of not knowing what your identity was and it being so caught up in a title or something yes. that you felt other people expected you to be. And now you have built a whole business on helping people find that identity in themselves and understanding who their future you is. So tell me, tell me about then future you because that just leads us into now what you do with, with the wonderful work you do with your clients. Yeah, thank you. And, and it is. I... It was really interesting. I was having a conversation with someone and I was talking about my career and, and I, I went from criminology. At, at one stage, I was head of sales in an engineering department. Okay. 
not knowing. Now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not sure where that. Don't is. ask. Yeah. Long story. Okay. Actually, yes, I'm not yes. 100% certain, <laughs> but someone could see things in me that I couldn't see, and we'll come back to that theme afterwards. Mm. Um, but um, so I, I've been around, climbed the ladder, had many experiences, didn't regret any of them. Um, but it was, it was a case of, okay, if what can I do? And talking to someone, a friend actually at a party, they said to me, if you actually bottle your career and bottle your experiences, you're going to make a fortune because there are so many unhappy people out there. Yeah. There are a lot of people who got to where you, who are where you got to, um, and there's no one to help them. And it was like, wow, yes. So that was, that was the driver. It was that, that impact. It was going out and, and finding and creating something that could help guide others so we, I could minimise the, the impact on their lives that it had on mine to, yes. to want to have a better description. I absolutely love it. And so now in Future You, talk me through the programs and how you actually work with clients to, to I guess, mm. help them identify, you know, what their identity is and what's going to give them career happiness. What's the process yeah. that you use? So, so first of all, before we get to the process, just to touch on um, the, the three type of clients I work with. Yeah. I, I, first of all, I focus to, uh, only on professional people. Yeah. Um, do, you want, do you want to hear something really funny? One of my goals when I started the business was actually to help return to work mums get yeah. back into the workforce. Yeah, and one of my closest friends friend to, friend to, friend said to me, Rob, what do you know about the plight <laughs> of return to work mums? And I went, yeah, they're off the list. <laughs> Leave that for someone else. Well, um, you know, people might, I mean, you've got something to offer, but yes, I think that probably was good advice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good advice. So <laughs> yeah. I, focus, I focus on professionals, people in professional roles just like I was. Um, I focus on people who are unhappy in their role. Yes. I focus on people who um, know they're in the wrong role. Yes. And I focus on people who want to accelerate their career. So they're, they're my three avatars. Okay. Um, that's what I focus on. And um, what I offer is, is a range of different coaching programs. So I've got, a, I've got a long list of programs, but my flagship program is yeah. the nine steps to career happiness. Yes. Um, that's my flagship oh, program. Um, and that's, that's exceptionally popular. And that's the sort of program that people come to me and go, look, I know I'm not. A, I know I'm not a lawyer, but I don't know what I am. Yes. Um, help me. Yes. Help me get there. Yeah. Um, but I also offer um, shorter courses or, or coaching programs um, around interview skills, salary negotiation, networking, um, updating, designing, and creating an effective LinkedIn page. Um, I also offer uh, what I call my bespoke program. So a lot of my clients come to me and they don't fit the box they don't want something off the shelf so what I do is that we sit together and yes. we scope through their issues and we create together we create a coaching program that they believe will get them to where they want to get to and that's that's what it's all about and it's really interesting because someone said to me um, do you ever sit there with a client and, so, and think to yourself they're dreaming I say to some extent yes but it's it's my skill as a coach to either make them aware of that or support them to help them discover yeah. that process themselves so i don't i'm not a teller yes. um it, but i i provide a safe haven to explore and to question oneself and to get angry with oneself and you know there have been the odd coaching session where my, people might say it's not professional but you know we've both had a bit of a cry but yes. hey yes. you know it, it's about letting things go and and understanding Absolutely. it so then so they're my programs i also offer a a fantastic um online career guide report yep. which allows people to identify their greatest strengths it helps them identify the best career options for them based yep. on their strengths and it also helps identify the steps they need to take to develop their, their career to take it to that next step so that online program is immensely powerful um, and all of my clients get a lot of value out of that. So that's that's what I offer. I absolutely love it. And we are going to do a couple more episodes where we sort of go into it yep. a bit deeper into all of these topics. But look, one thing I do love is the fact that, you know, you have this passion for helping people find their career happiness, but it's, it's a whole range of things. And yes. particularly when we relate it back to legal, where I think at the moment there's this perception that you can, you know, there's only a couple of options limited. You either stay in the unhappy career that you've built yourself in law, which a lot of people feel that's what 
that's what law is, yeah. or they leave, which is incredibly sad because often they're the ones we want to keep in the industry, or they start their own firm. But I really love the way that you sort of work to kind of look at all the different ranges of possibilities, particularly mm. for us lawyers. And I know you have a personal connection to a lawyer um, yes. in your very own life, um, so which, which is fantastic. So you understand how we kind of feel and think and, um, and who we are. So look, if this is resonating with you out there, I would really encourage you to go online to futureyoucoaching.com.au you can find all those resources there um, and to tap into Robert and you can actually find him on our um, Legally Yours marketplace too at legallyyours.com.au. Thank you, Robert, for joining me and stay tuned for more episodes with Robert and myself. Thank you. Thank you.